fun. Oh, I'm not doing much. What's going on with you? Ah, I don't know. I'm just kind of hanging out and just playing. Oh, yeah, cool. These these models are really uh, cool. Ah, we're in 3D versions of ourselves. Ah. Hello again, everybody. Urban Mass with another video, this time brought to you by Circuit Launch. Uh, I'm always an advocate for being a good VR ambassador, and that means getting out and supporting your local VR community. We gotta share experiences, we've gotta share knowledge most importantly, and this uh, launch pad in Oakland Bay Area is doing just that. Circuit Launch um, is basically a workshop incubator that hosts large spaces for VR. Um, and what I've done there twice is have a VR LAN party um, where I played Echo Arena and Unspoken Tournament and also took a VR art creative workshop. Um, I'm going to leave the link for Circuit Launch. This is their logo, but I'm going to leave the link for Circuit Launch down below so you guys can check it out. But um, yeah, when you're out there, it's, it's interesting to realize how small of a community VR is until you actually get out there and meet people and you start running into the same people. I'm sure a lot of you have seen that even in the online community. I've seen a lot of the same faces on the on the Facebook forums. Um, but yeah, like like I like to advocate for be a good VR ambassador. And at this point, that means sharing knowledge and going out and meeting other other people um, at the VR LAN party that I was a part of at Circuit Launch, I learned a lot of cool tips, not to mention I got to meet a lot of really cool people. A lot of professional esports players too uh, showed up, but one of the things that I, I picked up when I was there was the importance of a third sensor in my VR setup, right? If you're playing competitive games like Onward or uh, Echo Arena or Spark or something like that, you're going to want that third sensor. Also, a lot of tips that I picked up, um, you know, not losing your tracking in VR space, meaning having a floor mat, um, seeing what rigs people were operating with, seeing what games uh, and operating systems were compatible, what devices people were using. That's a lot of that's a lot of knowledge that's shared between the communities that won't you won't really necessarily pick up just by reading forums. Right. You actually have to see what people are working with. Um, the other thing that uh, Circuit Launch did was host a VR creative workshop where um, the guy, an instructor by the name of Michael Zayner came through and taught us how to use Medium and Tilt Brush and how to do mixed reality and all these other cool things. Um, if you have the chance and you're in the Bay Area, I suggest that you book this guy because he is extremely patient, he's extremely knowledgeable, and he's totally down to earth, which is something that I look for in my teachers. Um, I would not book the class for more than, you know, four people. It, you know, teaching people how to create art is extremely tiring and trying. And if you're running around a class trying to teach people how to use specific skill sets, it's going to be a little daunting. But Michael took the, took the time to do this with us. And he taught me a lot of things about workflow and about creation in Oculus Medium that I didn't necessarily know that made my creation experience a lot more easy. Um, the thing that I created with him, which was this, you know, little gin doll, um, would have taken me a month to create if I would have created it at all. Um, but with him, he was able to teach me how to layer, how to use the proper tools, how to, you know, put the roughness in, how to, uh, how to sculpt outside of already existing figures. It was an extremely, uh, it's like going to the gym, man. You get out of it what you, what you take from it and what you put into it. And I strongly encourage everyone to just get out in their local VR community. That sometimes means taking off the glasses and exploring what's around you and looking at the forums and the sites um, and seeing what's happening local to you and meeting the players. Um, because if you don't do that, you know, VR is an isolated experience. You really, it, it really starts to add its value once you start doing social activities in VR. Um, I'm going to start posting some how-to videos, but I just wanted to update you guys a little bit on, you know, what the VR LAN party was like, which was super cool. We had a lot of open floor space. If you're in the Bay Area, you want to look, you want to book events, meetings, you know, you need to 3D print something. Um, check the courses that they have. Circuit Launch is the place to go. Um, if you're also trying to do a team building exercise, if you want to uh, figure out how to get certain things right in Tilt Brush, in Medium, uh, Michael Zayner is the person you want to consult and, and, and reach out to. I'm going to put some videos. You, you should see some videos up to the over my shoulder here. 
Um, but I just kind of wanted to share some things. It's, it's been about a week since I posted something VR related, so I thought this was a good time to do it. If you have any questions, please make sure you ask them in the comments below. You know, do that whole like, subscribe, share with your friends, that whole dance. Um, but over to the right, you should see my latest creation. No see some, of the, some of the pictures that I snapped. While I was doing no the calories, the no sweeteners, all smiles. Introducing bubbly, sparkling water. Right Our group of friends has been playing the same game with Jack for 30 years. What? You punched me! A little bit of work, but like I'm still pumped on this guy. So basically, what this means here is. No calories, no sweeteners, all smiles. Introducing bubbly, sparkling water. Our group of friends has been playing the same game of tag for 30 years. What? This Facebook Spaces version of myself will cease to exist once I uh, learn about a little bit more programs and I start, you know, doing a, a bit more with spaces and the desktop experience. Shout out to Dan Ryan. Thank you so much for showing me what was possible inside Facebook Spaces. Um, but yeah, you know, I, I, I got some things cooking inside the head. It's, it's always a, a battle to get, bring these things to fruition with, you know, the social life, with the work life, and with just wanting to vegetate on my couch and play video games and League of Legends and stuff. So um, it's, a, it's a hassle trying to stay motivated, but I'm going to do it and I'm going to keep you guys updated on my progress. Until then, Urban Mask out. Thanks you guys so much for watching. Later. No, so inside OBS, I think you're fine, but uh, the picture-in-picture picture on this desktop oh, display. Yeah, yeah. Yeah.